So states of research, this is the today's topic and definitely I'm just can say recapping the yesterday's topic that we have discussed. So whatever can say characteristics of research that we discussed yesterday and just can say there are 13 or 14 points that we discussed how can say go for research and all. And today we'll discuss about steps of research. What are the different steps that you should follow to write a research proposal or can say to start your research. And these are the different steps of research. First, most important step is defining and redefining problem. I'm not talking about the title of the thesis, how to can say search your title and all. So basically, steps of any I can say research, this is the first steps or I can say one of the steps you have to define the problem. And again, if it is what you think it is not correct or can say it is not appropriate, you have to redefine again during the entire course of your research. The second most important is formulating hypothesis, then collecting data, organizing and analyzing data, making deduction, reaching to a conclusion or to the conclusions and carefully testing the conclusions to determine whether they fit into formulated hypothesis or not. So these are the five or six or seven different steps they are there according to different research. Suppose you're working in, can say, uh, languages or you want to write, can say, thesis or can say proposal in language or you want to write thesis or proposal in commerce management or you want to write thesis or proposal in science background or can say some other subjects, maybe in physical sciences, chemical sciences or mathematical sciences. There may be can say one or two steps will be less or more, but overall, in all, most all the researches, you'll get the seven steps we should include and we'll think on this, how to can say go for research, one step, second step, then third step and fourth step or one by one, how to follow the steps to write the proposal. First, we'll understand all this and then definitely we'll go for can say what are the elements of can say writing research proposal in detail. Okay, so this is what about different steps. Now we'll discuss one by one. I want to make it more can say suitable and more appropriate and simple for you people to understand what research is exactly. If you don't understand what research is exactly, then it will be difficult for you to understand research problem, how to define it and how to redefine it from exactly. How to can say formulate hypothesis based on the review that you made and gaps that you identified. So that's, I think, important for you people to understand all these, all the steps in defining the research problem and can say finding out main objectives and then different objectives and then hypothesis and then methodology. So that's what important. So make it, can say, simple. I have made some of the points. So it's jitna easy kar sakte, utna easy karna chata hume, or definitely hoga. So anybody, anyone, any can say any person wants to go for research. So pahla part jo aega usme, it is what? How to define a research problem. What exactly it is? Ye kya hota hai? What is this exactly? So, so defining research problem is summarizing and synthesizing argument and ideas of existing knowledge in the particular field without adding any new contribution. This is basically what summarizing and synthesizing the arguments. So whatever literature that you have with you, if you search it, whatever previous work or can say past work or the work carried out till today, till moment. So whatever the work carried out, you can search all the literature and from that you can summarize and synthesize an argument or can say idea of existing knowledge in a particular can say field without adding any new contribution. Aapka isme koi contribution hoga nahi. So you should not add anything to this. So whatever can say summarization is there, it is what basically based on previous research or can research carried out till today or whatever can say you want to synthesize or formulate so that should be based on your can say basic research or the past research. 
जितना भी आपको इसमें समराइजेशन होगा पूरा इसके ऊपर होगा कि आपने अभी तक क्या क्या रिसर्च देखा है जो पब्लिश्ड है अनपब्लिश्ड है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बुक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैंसर रिसर्च पेपर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कैंसर रिसर्च आर्टिकल मे बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ प्रोसेडिंग वट एवर अवेलेबल लिटरेचर पूरा आपको देखना है एंड फ्रॉम दैट यू आर टू समराइज सर्टन पॉइंट एंड सिंथिसाइज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट और कैंसर द आर्ग्यूमेंट आर एन आइडिया ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस यू आर नॉट टू एड एनी थिंग एट योर ओन आपको आपका खुद का कुछ एड करना नहीं सो दैट विल हेल्प यू कैन से टू डिजाइन एवर रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम बेसिकली डिफाइनिंग रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम इज बेस्ट ऑन वट इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ सर्चिंग अ रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन प्रीवियस रिसर्च एंड वट इज रिडिफाइनिंग इट इज वट रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम इन वॉज डायग्नोसिंग the correct situation so that the focus is given on real problem and not on the symptoms many times you know it happens that we are having different things with you we are thinking these are the problem but these are not the problem these are just symptoms and we are focusing on the symptoms so we'll not get to real problem so whatever problem that you have decided think that whether it's what real problem or it is a symptom of that problem or symptom of that particular aspect if it is a symptom then again you can redefine it so first and most important aspect of any research is what identifying a problem or defining a problem based on previous research so that's what most important next part is hypothesis and how to can say formulate hypothesis so formulating hypothesis is what next part once you have a problem with you or can say once you decide the problem once you find out the problem the next part that comes is what formulating hypothesis and to formulate hypothesis we require a scientific testable predictable statement is what basically a scientific or specific testable and predictable statement ye that is what important specific testable and predictable statement driven by theoretical guidance or prior evidences what your guidance that you got from the previous work from that you have to can say make a statement and that's what the statement should be very specific on that particular problem or it should be a can say testable statement or predictable statement based on theory or what you can say प्रीवियस रिसर्च वट एवर फाइंडिंग दे आर देयर बेस्ट ऑन दैट फाइंडिंग आपको ये स्टेटमेंट तैयार करना है एंड देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट स्टेप्स इन फॉर्मुलेटिंग दाइपोथेसिस स्टेप्स आर स्टेट द क्वेश्चन यूर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज लुकिंग टू आंसर यू टू वट स्टेट द क्वेश्चन एक क्वेश्चन आपको तैयार करना है एंड दैट क्वेश्चन शुड कैन से आंसर यूर ऑब्जेक्टिव दिस इज सपोज यूर ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड you have to look for the answer or you have to can say think on that particular objective how will get answer so you have to design a question you have to design a statement a statement aapko taiyar karna hai and that statement should be based on your objective so what are what are the objectives of your can say uh, what is the aim and what are the objective of your research so based on that objective you have to make a statement and that statement is basically a hypothesis so you have to take first step to decide a question your objective is looking to answer second one identify your independent and dependent variables so you have to what look for variables when you are doing a research there are different variables you have to use basically if you think of two variables in this two variables one is always independent the second is always dependent just take an example if you just think up can say having one thing which is dependent on other just an example like can say if you give can say water to a plant or can say when you irrigate crop plants so if you give more and more irrigations or frequent irrigation there will be can say growth so if you reduce them there will be can say retardation in the growth so water is independent factor and growth is a dependent factor in another way you can say if you can say put capital in a business if you have more the capital maybe can say there'll chance to get more benefit out of that if you 
work properly and your, your business is not having any other constraint so more capital more will be the can say business and more will be a can say profit so this what capital is what your independent variable and the profit will be a dependent variable so likewise there are different things size and weight if you increase the size automatically you can increase in the weight so size is independent and weight is dependent even you can say you can take example of medicine if you take one tablet to minimize the temperature or maybe you can say illness so if you take one tablet there will be little effect if you take another tablet after some time there will be more effect and if you take third fourth like that if you increase the frequency or can say the dose there will be can say decrease in certain thing so there will be dependent so things will increase or decrease so one is always independent not having any effect on it but second one is always dependent so you have to identify which one is independent which one is dependent so these variables are most important and based on that variable you have to can say think of your analysis okay the third one is right if and then these are the statement agar mai ye karunga to kya hoga if i add this particular thing in this particular thing if i add a to b what will happen if i take first b and then second a what will happen okay so if and then statements that clearly defines the focus and variables of the experiment so if you want to design experiment so there will be always two things one is what suppose first aspect it is having effect on other or it will affect the another so it is affected or affected so it is affecting or affecting that's what you can say so think on this so always you can say find out independent and dependent variable and then write if and then statement and definitely with help of this you can formulate your hypothesis based on statement or can say objectives so this is what most important aspect of your thesis or can say research proposal next step is data collection so once you have hypothesis with you then you have to design a methodology for collection of data so i have not given your methodology i am just can say asking you about how to go for data collection or any researcher should ask question how to collect data and for collection of data you should have methodology with you different methods with you different tools with you so data collection is basically is the process of gathering accurate data from various sources to find out answers to the research problem or research trend or can say probabilities so this is basically a process of gathering accurate data that's what data collection is what a process or methodology or is what a system or is a protocol you can say where you can gather the data or accurate data at certain parameter so this is what a process of gathering accurate data and that's what we can say data collection so in data collection there are again different steps or can say different tools that you have to use first one is sampling method adapted in methodology or followed in data collection so what are sampling method what are sampling method that you have with you so that sampling method you have to use or adapt in methodology or followed in data collection whatever sampling methods it may be random sampling it may be stratified sampling it may be can say can say uh, uh, one to one sampling or it may be interview or it may be anything so whatever population is there from that population you have to draw the data and for that it is possible for you to go to certain pockets and collect the data or certain areas only you have to can say go and collect data it's not possible to go everywhere and collect data so the sampling method is essential for data collection and that's why i think you should understand what are the sampling methods available in researches so data on each parameter or a question are collected from the population or sample selected for observation or taking into so data on each parameter whatever parameters are there that you have considered for taking data say for example you are talking about population you study the population or human population you want to find out height of the human being average height of human being so you have to go each, to each and every person and take the height in we can say centimeter or maybe in meter and then you have to tabulate the data so the height is the parameter even you can say color of eye is the parameter or if you want to study you can say uh, any book in that 
whatever can say main parameter taken for writing about the book or fiction so that also you can say is a parameter to study or it can be a question what question that you have in a questionnaire so these are the questions suppose for example there are 100 question in one single questionnaire you have to take data on each question you have to ask question to the person or can say jiska interrupt lene wale usko puchna hai aapko and then you have to collect data so data on each parameter or question are collected from the population or samples selected for observations are taking it through so these are what basically you have to select population and from the population you have to select the sample or a person for interview and you have to ask question to them or you have to collect data on each question or on each parameter and tabulate them and data and observations are recorded in a record book or laboratory book you have to have a laboratory book or record book and you have to record the data in the record book so this is the process of data collection and it is included under methodology so i think this is what most important step in any research to can say go for correct and ideal research in this once you have data with you you have to organize data and analyze data so next step is what organizing and analyzing data so data are collected from different parameters or questions in a questionnaire so whatever can say data that you have with you is what basically a collection of information on a particular parameter or it is what uh, answers to the questions given in a questionnaire so you have taken the answers from each person on each question so that you have to tabulate in a table form and maybe a record in a record book or you can consider any parameter for your research and you have to collect data on that particular parameter okay so data collected can be organized according to parameter or question so, so suppose there are 10 parameters you have to collect data and organize data for one parameter then go for second parameter then third parameter and fourth parameter fifth parameter so likewise you can say collect data parameter wise and organize it according to parameter or whatever questions that you have in a questionnaire or whatever observations that you made in a sequence in that particular sequence you have to arrange the data once you arrange data it may be arranged in ascending order or descending order so you have to maintain the order and then from that you have to calculate mean or mode and median or maybe can say you have to go for average and even standard deviation whatever that you can calculate so that is important data collection and organization data according to parameter and question so data organized in a particular format in a tabular form is analyzed with statistical methods or tools once you have data with you rough data or raw data with you if you organize it so this what can say slight can say refining of data and finally once your data in tabular form or can say in a particular format you can analyze it with a statistical tool or statistical method so there are different tools available online or can say different softwares are available you can use these softwares for analyzing data or otherwise suppose you know how to analyze data how to go for this then definitely you can analyze manually with the help of certain tools and techniques which are available with or can say you in different books or different can say methods so this what organizing data and analyzing data is what one of the most important steps in research so once you have data with you you analyzed it then you may get a result or can say you have results with you so based on that result or data you have to make a deduction so making deduction is what deductive reasoning or deduction so deduction is making an inference based on widely accepted fact so whatever can say widely accepted facts are there so you have to find out facts from your data your results and from that you have to can say deduct certain things and you can come to a conclusion so deciding first so deciding first and last week of mango market at ratnagiri or devgarh agar aapko ja ke dekhna hai ki which is the first week and which is the last week of mango market mango cup shuru honge aur unka last jo end jo market ka hoga ya season ka hoga kab hoga if you want to find out in can say konkan area so aapko kuch to plan karna padega you have to can say uh, plan for a travel so what will be the mode of travel 
what will we can say exact time that you require for travel so you have to gather information on this particular parameter so traveling can be a parameter again the mode of travel can be a parameter then visit of the season can be a parameter so based on this you can collect the data and then on the basis of that you have to decide and finally you can say we can take a decision okay this is the particular week when i can travel and go to that particular area to see the last can say our end of the season and what will happen to that can say whether the size of mango is can say smaller or can say the sweetness is more so whatever you can say the number of things there will be there or whom to contact it may be can say village development officer it may be a sarpanch or it may be a businessman it may be can say mango orchard owner jo bhi hoga unko aapko milna hai ya kisko milna hai so to whom you will get the information so you have to decide it first based on data and you can come to a conclusion just to go to ratnagiri or to devgarh is what we think it is what is it task for because it is already known but initially jab pata nahi hota aur pata nahi hoga aapko to aap pehle kahi na kahi iska information nikalenge data nikalenge data tabulate karenge koi na koi paper pe aap iska ek graph banayenge kitna distance hoga koi data lenge tabulate karenge और उसमें से फाइनल एक कुछ तो इंफॉर्मेशन निकाल के एक इन्फॉर्म देखे उसके दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर टाइम पर्टिकुलर विजन एंड कैन से इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सीजन आई कैन गो एंड कंटेक्ट अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन सो एज टू गेट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस सो दिस इज वट मेकिंग डिडक्शन सो यू टू फाइंड आउट यूल गेट ह्यूज डेटा फ्रॉम द डेटा यू कैन कैन से कम टू अ कंक्लूजन बेस्ड ऑन सर्टन एस्पेक्ट सो विच वन इज गुड अकॉर्डिंग टू हाइपोथेसिस एंड विच इज वट अगेंस्ट हाइपोथेसिस or can say not similar to hypothesis so that you have to decide and come to a conclusion so this again is a task for you to can say deduct the things and finalize which one is good for you final thing in this reaching to a conclusion or conclusions so it is the process of making judgment or decision after a period of thought or experimentation or research and data analysis basically is what is the process of making a judgment or decision you have to take decision or you have to give judgment based on your data or research findings or observations and it will take some time so whatever data that you collected from starting of research up to the end of research and now we want to conclude a right you can say proposal or can say paper on this so definitely whatever data that you have with you you have to make use of data to come to a, a final conclusion or decision so this is what basically the process and you should understand it as a logical process you should can say wise enough to understand what exactly there in the data you should be wise enough to read the data and understand the data and process exactly which method that you have followed what data that you have based on that you have to get take the decision then the researcher decide that something is true after they have thought about it carefully and have considered all the relevant facts so something is true sometime one fact is always can say the fact other one is just can event it cannot be a can say true sometime so we have to find out the real fact and can say the true things in that and decide that based on can say the relevant facts so whatever the facts which are really relevant you have to can say gather all these facts and from that you have to draw the conclusion so reaching to a conclusion is what a logical thinking based on your data so once you process your data statistically apply a statistical tool you will get some can say result out of that based on that result you can find out your conclusion and then you can conclude your research so when you draw conclusion there may be one or two conclusion based on your research maybe you can say three conclusions sometimes or maybe sometime you can reach to four or five conclusions now out of that which are most appropriate so you have to test your conclusions with help of hypothesis so what was your hypothesis and then what is your conclusion so that's what the part in this and this is the end part of your research so whether we reject or fail to reject the hypothesis so what your statement that you make or can say you made initially at the starting of your research based on your hypothesis or can based on your objective so that statement is basically hypothesis and that statement is called null hypothesis okay 
So that null hypothesis, if you accept it, then there is no need to reject the statement. If you accept it, there is no need to reject it. So you are accepting whatever that statement that you made and whatever result that you accept uh, can say observe the results and statement are very similar but sometimes what happens when you make a statement whether it will be possible or not and you'll get a result it is not possible based on data you are to say that is not possible because the statement say i am saying that i can reach to pune maybe within two hours if i have a particular instrument or can say vehicle with me Really, it is possible for me to reach to Pune within two hours by a car or by bike. No, it is not possible. So I am rejecting it. So based on this, like I can say, you can reject your hypothesis. So it is possible for you to reject or accept the hypothesis based on your data. So whether we reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis, that's what essential part here. The significance level. With what really significant, statistically significant, it's what can say more than 50%, more than 80%, whatever can significance level you have to find out. Based on significance level, you can decide your can say results are acceptable and they are really significant or can say more appropriate, or can say more fruitful for us. Or having can say, say for example, you can take an example of any gadget or can say mobile, which mobile can say set is or hand set is good. So based on significance level, based on this, this application can say really good. So likewise, there are different significance levels and based on that, you can decide. A short explanation in the context of hypothesis test. So lastly, you have to give a short statement for the explanation in the context of the hypothesis to decide whether the testing is really correct or not. Okay. So reaching to conclusion that we have seen, making deduction that we have seen. So these are the different steps that we have seen, defining and redefining problem, formulating hypothesis, collecting data, organizing and analyzing data, making deduction, reaching to a conclusion, and carefully testing the conclusion to determine whether they fit into the formulated hypothesis or not. So these are the different steps in the research. And if you want to follow all these steps, you should know what are the different tools and techniques you have to use and how to define and redefine problem for that what you require, how to formulate hypothesis for that what you require, how to collect data, which methods you have to use for collecting data, then organizing and analyzing data, how to organize data, what are the formats available, how to analyze data, what are the methods available for that, then what is, can say, deduction and how to, can say, logically come to a conclusion, then reaching to final conclusion and carefully testing the conclusion whether it's a fitting according to hypothesis or not. So these are the different steps in the research. And if you understand all this, then I think it's easy for you to understand the research process. And then it will help you to, can say, complete your work within given shortest or can say given time period or shortest possible time period. Thank you.